Welcome to Great Day Houston. Hobbies, they are the things we do that relax us and entertain us. Collecting baseball cards and stamps, crochet, quilting, and beading. How many of you have hobbies? You do something. You do something, okay? Well, our first guest is a little more adventurous than some of the things that we do. His hobby is horses, and we're not talking about a hobby horse. We mean real horses. Take a look. Well, my regular job is uh, the oil business. I've been in that uh, since I graduated from uh, college and uh, got interested in horses earlier in life when I was a kid. My parents bought me a pony, then a horse. Uh, we moved quite a few times and weren't in a home where we could have horses, so I went for a good 30 years without a horse in my life. I actually saw Gypsy Vanner on a box of horse, horse treats in my uh, local feed store here in Katy. I called the company on the back of the box and said, is this a real horse? And they said, absolutely, it's a Gypsy Vanner. I said, what's a Gypsy Vanner? And they said, well, here's a guy's number who owns this horse, and call him, and I did, and spent every night on the phone with him for about six weeks and bought a horse from him. That was my first one. Shortly after I bought my first horse, I decided to go to the route, and that was the Gypsy people that have been breeding these horses since, uh, since probably 100, 150 years ago. They all congregate in Appleby, England, the central part of England, every year, and show off their very best horses. And we bought a number uh, our first year there and have been going every year since. We breed them ourselves and <clears throat> we have some every year that we keep uh, and breed, and, but we, we we keep passing the baton to people that are gonna be good owners because uh, they're a special horse, so we're very picky about who the horses go to. We, we do this because we love the horse, not because we need money. Uh, so it's a darn great hobby. <laughs> when I saw this breed of horse, I knew this was the one I got shot with an arrow. You know, I had a lot of different type of horses, but this one stuck because they're sweet temperament and they're just beautiful looks. Um, they remind me of, of the old war horses back from Roman time. Uh, so, you know, that's my passion. Every morning I wake up and I, uh, I, we have a baby horse born here. It, it's just like I've died and went to heaven. <laughs> And Bill Neese is, or Doug Neese is joining us now along with one of the horses who's a little skittish right now um, because it's kind of a weird thing to have all these people staring at you in a TV studio. <laughs> but anyway, welcome to the show. Thank you, Deborah. This is amazing. So you had a horse as a pony as a child. Yep, I had a little pony and uh, grew into love of horses as I got older and my wife tricked me into buying a horse at auction <laughs> just so we could get a big house. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, that kind of led to this. And I found uh, this horse on the on the internet in 1999 and uh, I own 60 of them now. We import them from England, Ireland, Germany and we breed our own. And this guy is the only one of his color in the United States. He's a golden yeah. buckskin. Wow. Now Sundance. why this particular horse? Uh, Are these kinds of horses that you're really interested we, we, in? We, we love their personalities. They're so sweet. They're kind of like we call them golden retrievers with hooves. Uh -huh. And they're sweet around children. This is a stallion by the way. Yeah. He just flew over here. He's been here a week on the ground. so. Uh, we, we love their body, their Baroque style, thick chest, short back, feathers that start at the knee on both legs, all four legs, long profuse manes on both sides of their heads, and they're just a sweet animal on their heads. Look how beautiful this head is. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, there, there's one thing when you, when you love something, and then you actually go get one of something you love, yes. and then you just go crazy. Well, <laughs> Is there ever a point where you went, okay, I got to stop this? How many in all, how many horses have you ever owned total? Uh, we've we've uh, owned about 350 since 1999. Wow. And they've all gone to sweet homes and good customers that love them and, and uh, cherish them. Uh, so we're, we're very careful about the people we pick for our horses, but uh, yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. What does it do for you? It's a thrill. Every time I see that horse come off, or off that transport, I've never seen in person before. It's like, oh my God, you know. But it's kind of like eating potato chips. You know, you just you can't quit. Yeah, <laughs> I can't just can't just have Cause, one. Because this one's prettier than the last one <laughs> yeah. I got. You know. <laughs> All right. Speaking of eating, she's got some favorite food here. He has some good some food that he well, likes. Well, yeah. What we like to do is start him off with a little vegetable appetizer, and uh, it's just carrot. Yeah, but, yeah. There you go, buddy. And uh, if I can reach back behind here. Okay. He uh, we found out he's been with us a short period of time, but he saw Erica drinking a Coke. He loves Coca-Cola. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, he, he likes to drink Coke while he's watching the Deborah Duncan show. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> See, when he flew over here, we had him in the barn watching your show all last week just so we get used to you. And he's, when, he hears the, when he hears the music for the, for, the, for the start of the show, he goes crazy. 
<laughs> and he drinks his Coke during the show. Now, here's a problem. This is a nice, lean horse. Comes to America, starts drinking a bunch of junk food, <laughs> and he's going to get fat. <laughs> okay? <laughs> but, but, and by the way, I don't want to forget my assistant here. This is Erica Barton, who works, and she's, uh, works for us, and she's the president of our company, Gypsy MVP. Yeah. She, now, when, when you go get these horses, um, you go over to England, and what's that like there, that whole deal? Oh, it's wonderful. It's uh, exciting. There's thousands upon thousands of gypsy people, nomadic people in their little wagons that their horses pull. And a horse like himself, you can see him pulling a caravan down the street with little kids hanging out the back. Uh, there's people riding bareback. That's the way the gypsies ride their horses. Yeah. Uh, and there's just thousands of different colored horses everywhere. They go to one place at a river and wash their horses and it, it's, it's just a, whole, it's a great day to sit there and uh, sit on a grassy hill and watch all these thousands of horses go and get washed before they're going to be traded or sold to another gypsy or another person. And you just make a deal with a handshake. That's it. Yeah. People start bidding on the horse and you raise your hand and you get the horse and you better have cash. That's yeah. A, you know. okay. So you, well, you go to a lot of ATM machines when you, when you buy horses over there. there. <laughs> now, I just got back recently and I had like an extra baggage and they charged me for it. Yeah. What does this cost? Oh. <laughs> How did you get him back? First He's class? expensive. Oh, He's expensive. They actually ride in a plane with people, and people don't even know they're on the plane. They're in the belly. Right. The, the plane, and, uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, but he uh, he just flew over and went through his quarantine and so forth, and it's quite expensive to get him here. Yeah, yeah, but uh, you love him. Oh, no, we, so. we love him to death. We're going to keep doing it. Well, thank you for sharing your story oh, with absolutely. us. Oh, absolutely. Well, thanks for having us on. We, we love being here. We have something in common. I'm horse, and you are a horse. <laughs> How about that? All right. For more information about Gypsy MVP, you can go to our website, greatdayhouston.com. Coming up, the idea of an aquarium for most of us is a small fish bowl with a guppy or a goldfish. Our next guest schools us on how to make a fish a cool hobby.